have a verbal agreement with transfer target Eduardo Camavinga, it has been claimed. The 18-year-old is one of Europe's hottest prospects, having flourished over the past 12 months. But while Ole Gunnar Solskjaer wants the France international, so too does Zinedine Zidane. Real Madrid are keen to revamp their midfield, despite Zidane's side winning the La Liga title last term. Both Tony Kroos and Luka Modric are approaching the twilight years of their careers, with the duo both aged 30 and 35 respectively. As a result they're keen on committing. They were strongly linked in the summer transfer window but, with the coronavirus crisis impacting their finances, they opted against a move. And pundit Eduardo Inda has claimed the France international has a verbal agreement, despite United also being in the hunt to sign him. Reports have claimed Solskjaer sees the 18 year, old as the ideal replacement for Paul Pogba, who is likely to leave at the end of the campaign. And Inda said, Real Madrid has a verbal agreement with Eduardo Camavinga and Ren agrees to send him to Madrid in exchange for a significant amount of money. It's said that Zidane did want to sign Pogba but that Florentino Perez doesn't want the United star. That could be because of his agent, Menio Rila. Rila has had just client play at the Bernabeu, Alphonse Areola, but that was only a one year loan deal. With Camavinga it's said to be a different story, however. Both Perez and the current Los Blanca star have approved a move for the teenager, believing has got all the attributes needed to be a huge club hit for many years to come. And it seems as though United will have to move on to other targets. It's claimed Real even talked Camavinga out of entertaining offers from the Red Devils and PSG back in the summer, insisting they'd come in for him at a later date. And what ultimately happens remains to be seen. Meanwhile, back to Pogba's situation, and talk sport pundit Alex Crook has claimed United boss Solskjaer has already decided to offload the 27 year old. The Norwegian has backed the 2018 World Cup winner publicly, insisting he'll soon return to form. But things seem different behind the scenes, and Crook said, There has been a lot of debate across talk sport over the past couple of weeks can he play in the same team as Bruno Fernandes? Are his days at Manchester United numbered? I think they may well be. It's my understanding United plan to cash in on him next summer. They triggered an extra year in his contract, until 2022, earlier this season. But that was as much to protect their sell, on value to stop him leaving on a free transfer. I don't think it necessarily suggests Hess part of their long, term plans. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer seems to have realized he can't play both Fernandes and Pogba together. You've got to say United have looked a far better side without him in it lately, as they illustrated at Goodison Park when Solskjaer really needed a victory. Ultimately, he will end up at Real Madrid. But again we talk about the coronavirus pandemic. Given his lack of minutes this season and the financial crisis engulfing the whole of football, United may well have to accept a vastly reduced fee than they would have done a couple of years ago. Sky Sports pundit Jamie Carragher recently ripped into Pogba for his lack of consistency, saying, If someone said to me, I could only play well because of a certain manager, it'd be embarrassed. People take credit, coaches and managers for different players, maybe bringing them through, or having them at their peak, but if I felt that my career would fall down because I never had a certain coach or manager, how well I did was down to me, and when I didn't play well, that was down to me, I wouldn't blame a coach.